Hey everyone, I'm Robin VR, and welcome to another episode of VR Review, my weekly virtual news wrap-up. This week's episode of VR Review is brought to you by Nowhere, the last place you want to go. At the Microsoft press event this week, the company announced a new line of VR headsets coming from HP, Dell, Lenovo, Asus, and Acer. The tethered headsets feature 6 degree of freedom inside-out head tracking and start at $299. This price point makes them cheaper than the HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, or even the PlayStation VR. Little information about the headsets was given, however the presenter kept referring to them as an accessory to the forthcoming Windows 10 Creators update and alluded to not needing an expensive machine to run it. The brief demo was impressive, but not graphically intensive. So much in the same way you may not need an expensive high-end gaming PC or laptop, you may not need an $800 high-end VR headset either. This may be the solution for the average person wanting to get into VR at an affordable price. Microsoft also showed off an unnamed application that made a 3D scan of an object by walking around it using a smartphone camera. If you ever use the Autodesk program, 123D Catch, it works in a similar way using multiple digital photos uploaded to a service, returning you a 3D model of an object in a few minutes. Microsoft seems to be getting the same results as the now five-year-old Autodesk program in real time. This will make it easy to take a real object and create a model of it for use within the Microsoft Creator software or inside virtual reality. The technology being used here is known as SLAM, short for Simultaneous Location and Mapping. This technology was originally developed for robotics to build up a map of a robot's environment as it moves around. This technology working backwards from the information made to generate the map can also tell its location and orientation inside the map. The same technology is likely being used to do the head tracking in the new line of VR headsets. Finally, HTC has announced Vive Paper, an application for the HTC Vive that lets you experience interactive versions of traditional print publications in virtual reality. Vive Paper uses a physical booklet printed with augmented reality markers known as glyphs. The camera in the Vive headset can see and track the booklet as you hold it in your hand. Different publications can be loaded up, and using hand gestures, you can flip through pages, much like you would a real-world magazine. Tapping on a section of a page might launch a 360 video, show a 3D object, or other content. Vive Paper will be available for download on Halloween, October 31st, at HTC's new Viveport store for Vive PC, and on Android Mobile via the Viveport M developer beta. It'll also run on Google Cardboard and other compatible headsets with an iOS version arriving next year. This week's episode of VR Review is brought to you by Nowhere, the last place you want to go. Nowhere is a realistic, interactive horror survival experience inside the virtual world of Second Life. After a car crash in the middle of nowhere, you must travel down a mysterious highway to find out where you are and who you are. Open now through November 20th.